What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be implementing two-factor authentication into your Rails app using the Devise two-factor gem. Now this gem comes with a lot of documentation, but it doesn't do absolutely everything for you. So we're gonna have some manual setup stuff to do, but overall this is really pretty simple. What we're gonna try to do is we're going to make a two-step authentication system. So number one is you'll type in your email address and that way we can look up whether or not you have two-factor authentication enabled. If you do, then we're gonna ask you for your email, your password, and your two-factor one-time password. So that is going to be all there really is to it, but we need to be able to set up all of this, allow you to turn it on, turn it off, add backup codes, and get that registration or session process implemented. So there's quite a bit of stuff that we have to do. So let's dive in to setting all that up. So we've got a very basic example here. We have a homepage in a Rails app and we have device set up. So you can sign up. Uh, we can sign up, we can say chris at gorails.com, password and password. That's gonna sign us up, but we want to be able to go into our account settings and turn on two-factor authentication. And we should see a QR code and a list of backup codes that we can use to log in with two-factor. So we need to go and set all of that up, but first we need to add these gems to our application and get them configured with device. Now, the gems that we're gonna use in this application are device two-factor and we're gonna use our QR code, which is a bit of a outdated gem, but it works just fine and it's used to generate QR codes. And we're gonna be generating a QR code so that our Google Authenticator app on our phone can scan that and then create one-time passwords for us. So that is all we're gonna to have to do from that. Um, so we'll run bundle to install this. And once that's done, we need to actually run the installer for device to factor and we want to apply this to our user model and we want to pass in a key for our one-time password. So we need an encryption key because this gem in, uh, behind the scenes is actually using Adder Encrypted. So it keeps track of your one-time password um, details in encrypted columns. So you're gonna need to pass in a environment variable like so. 